Created back in 2017, Day Springs College for Living aims to provide young adults with disabilities valuable life skills and social integration resources after graduating from high school. Joining me is Program Administrator Abby Morgan, along with Day Springs CEO Lauren Hayes, and College for Living student, soon to be first graduate of the program, Daniel Miltemeyer. Thank you all for being here today. Thanks for having us. This program has had, well, Day Spring in general has had many, many years of success. I am really proud. This is our 30th wow. year of providing services to adults with disabilities. The College for Living program, of course, one of the newer programs and one that we started essentially to give a young adults the college-like experience and also help them develop the life skills they need to go live on their own one day. And we're really excited to see some really exponential growth this year. You certainly do. And, and Abby, I mean, you're super proud of this program and you guys are going to put it on display essentially here soon where people can learn more about it Absolutely. and the services you all offer. Yeah, so we're getting ready to host our community preview day. It is going to be on April 13th from 1 to 4 p.m. at our College for Living facility. Facility. Uh, we have information posted on our Facebook page, the College for Living, and on our Day Spring page as well. Um, we really hope that you can come out and see what we're all about. We're going to have some self-guided tours where you can take a look at our residential side of things in our apartment. We're also going to have family and student speakers. Daniel and his mom are actually going to talk about their journey throughout College for Living. And then we're gonna have some class demonstrations. So we're gonna be making some smoothies and talking about how we can incorporate veggies into those things. And also doing one of our students' favorites, which is a resident-led class, where the students get to teach about the topic that they choose. Oh, that's great. Yeah. How did you go about even creating the curriculum for this program? Um, so a big part of creating the curriculum is seeing what our students need. And so we do a lot of um, learning through observation of what our students need to be successful. We make sure that all of our curriculum is able to um, help them and support them in things that they need to learn to eventually graduate and be independent and on their own. And year after year, do you look at it and go, hmm, let's fine tune this, let's change this a little bit, just based on how people react or it, respond. It's all person centered. Yeah. And Absolutely. I think the biggest need that we see is, you know, through incidental learning, we pick up on things that we need mm -hmm. to know when we go live on our own. And oftentimes, uh, young adults with intellectual disabilities, they receive resources through high school yeah. and then there's a gap. And so the College for Living really serves to fill the gap, give families hope give um, these students an opportunity to build a peer group and so the residential program is what started kind of first we had six yeah. residential students and now we're offering commuter program because we said we can open our doors to more people mm -hmm. just to help them develop life skills and eventually be able to really implement that in the you community. tapped into a huge need I, I feel like anyway with that age group <laughs> we all need and that we're the first program and it's just kind. so creative and wonderful Daniel, you're going to be the first graduate of the program. Yes, I am. Congratulations. Congratulations. It's a big deal. You're in lots of those photos, too. Yes. What has it been like uh, to uh, live and learn? Well, it makes me more happy and really thrilled to be a part of College for Living for like going on seven years. But I learned a lot of life skills and all my mentors who has taught me the impact of life of like several classes like, for instance, um, one of them is cooking, uh, one of them is uh, being, showing your, showing your own opinion and being part of a class and being part of friends to be included in their lifestyle. Yeah, what has been your favorite thing learning so far? Well, my Day learning Spring. experience of graduating yeah and that's the main focus of uh, being more independent of cleaning in high-tech places that I know that different classes has given me the opportunities wonderful he's a tremendous advocate Daniel holds down two jobs he's very modest he's a Kentucky Colonel and he loves media so he does Daniel's <laughs> corner so he's he takes us behind an the incredible scenes. ambassador for your program <laughs> of, of what can be achieved this pre there's so many agencies that we can partner with right yeah. now and this preview day totally yeah. free totally public please come on Saturday April the 13th you're gonna get to meet Daniel and Abby and check out the program for residential and the commuter services Love that all right coming up April 13th mark that on your calendar you can follow them over on Facebook and learn a little bit more about their College for Living.